Hi, welcome to Divine Cuisine. Chef Kay here. We're talking about uh, banana bread. Right here, got our bananas. Banana bread on page 66 of Divine Cuisine. You'll find a recipe called the Road to Hannah Banana Bread. Why is it called the Road to Hannah Banana Bread? Well, if you've ever been to the island of Maui in Hawaii, you can drive from Kahalui to a little town called Hana. Now that's only 50 miles, but it's going to take you nearly three hours if you don't stop. And all along there, there's beautiful places to stop. So it's an all day journey, the road to Hana. But while you're traveling there, the local people are selling the local fruit. They're selling uh, local baked items. And one of those baked items is a really good banana bread. Some put it with just the bananas. Some put it with pineapple, and others put macadamia nuts in it. All gr great Hawaiian ingredients. So the Road to Hana banana bread, found in page 66 of Divine Cuisine. Banana bread for our restaurants used to be one of the most popular items we would serve. We would have an open-faced sandwich. We put... Uh, a piece of grilled banana bread. On top of that, we put some shrimp salad. On top of that, a piece of grilled pineapple, a little bit of avocado sliced, and some microgreens, and paint the plate basically with a Chantilly dressing. Very popular sandwich. People loved it. They came from miles around just for that sandwich. People would come in and they'd look at the menu and they'd say, I'm so tempted to have this sandwich. Then they would have the sandwich and they say, this is to die for. No, we don't want you to die. We want you to live. We want you to come back and have it again. That's the problem when they say I'm tempted. Temptation is always an attack on the word of God. You look at the first temptation, that was to Eve. Wasn't the, the fruit on the tree that really tempted her? It was Satan saying to her, Did God really say this? And she doubted the word of God. She doubted someone she walked and talked with because of this evil being. He, the temptation always sets inside you doubt to the word of God first. It's not a good thing, temptation. Right? But we know Jesus went out in the wilderness and for 40 days he was tempted so he can endure everything that we've endured. The Bible lists three temptations and he always responded to those three with the word of God. But he says it was, he was tempted for 40 days. Everything you were going through, he went through on your behalf. He knows. So when it comes time to turn it over to him, you'll have the victory because he understands what you're going through. All right, so we're going to come back here in a few minutes and we'll mix the, the banana bread ingredients and we'll see how it turns out. So until we're back, remember, God is on your side.